Hello and welcome. I am Deputy Assistant Secretary David A. Vargas for the Real Estate Assessment Center in the Office of Public and Indian Housing. As part of our new charge for improved customer service and to facilitate communication with our clients throughout the United States, we're developing a series of training videos to help you better understand the various aspects of the physical inspection process. From requesting a database adjustment to how to file a technical review as well as other important topics, these videos will give you the information you need to successfully navigate the REAX processes. Together, we share a common goal of providing decent, safe, and sanitary housing to the families we serve. Over the past months, we have met with our partners to determine the areas they believe are most in need of clarification. I trust these informational videos, along with our renewed commitment for reliable, replicable, and reasonable inspections will be just the beginning of the improvements we will implement based on our discussions with you and will result in a much enhanced experience for you, our partners in public and assisted housing. Hello, my name is Bob Albrecht, General Engineer with HUD Public and Indian Housing Real Estate Assessment Center. Some of you have contacted our Technical Assistance Center requesting how to review and respond to inspections challenged by REAC. We will discuss inspection review in the segments of REAC's ongoing inspection tutorials. Inspection review allows you to respond to questions or clarify observations. Inspection review remedies incorrect observations since corrections may not be done by the DCD after upload. Examples of challenge inspections observed deficiencies are as follows. Recording either a building foundation or unit wall as not actionable. Observed deficiencies not matching the DCD severity level, such as recording 5% expired fire extinguishers as level 3 severity. Level 3 observed deficiency criteria requires 10% or more expired fire extinguishers. Recording a missing handrail on steps as level 3 severity. Level 3 observed deficiency criteria requires a missing handrail for four or more steps. Fiscal inspection main menu webpage. After logging on to the REACT online systems, Click on Physical Assessment Subsystems. Responding. Click on Inspection Review. Your company name should appear highlighted in the contractor box. Click on Select Organization. Entering Inspection Review. Under the postum column, you may see a number above zero in the two date row. Click on a blue number to see if one of your inspection needs a response to challenges. Occasionally, the inspection review table will not fully display. If so, select the middle hypertext number. Selecting an inspection in inspection review. Click on the inspection numbers that pertain to your awarded inspections. Note if the inspection numbers do not belong to you, do not go any further. Navigating the Contractor Review Property page. In the upper portion of this page, there are tabs for each area pertaining to the inspection. Please provide all requested information in each tab. For Property, Participant, and Building, click in the required box and enter the appropriate response to the challenge. Also provide a comment in the contractor text box for the change. Press the radio button for required information has been supplied after your entered response. Saving the challenge responses. Press the save radio button at the tab page in. Reducing severity of level three observed deficiency. Use the UPCS definitions to determine if the observed deficiency is correct. If needed, provide clarification as noted in items one and two. 
Software prevents observed deficiencies from being transferred from an incorrect field, such as recording an inoperable oven under a refrigerator. If so, click Delete. To change the severity recording, press radio button for the corresponding change. Completing a Level 3 Observed Deficiency Challenge. Level 3 Observed Deficiency Corrections require clicking the Level 3 Hypertext for entering sub-window. Enter the text in both Location and Comment fields and click Save in the sub-window to close. Disregard the sub-window phrase, quote, If you wish to keep the original location and comments, just leave them blank, unquote. Enter response corrected in a contractor text box located in a contractor review page. Press Save Radio button to save. Review number and types of challenges. Review the challenges reposted in the summary tab. Note both the number of challenges and tab headings, such as not actable defects. Use the scroll bar to see other challenges and indicated tab names. Sending. After all information is provided, go back to the Inbox tab. If No is displayed in the Ready for HUD column, further clarification is needed in one or more of the tabs. The Ready for HUD column will show Yes if complete. By clicking on Yes, it will send the information back to HUD. Confirming Submit Request. A text box will ask if you are sure you want to submit this information. Select OK. Verify Received. If the respondent information was received by REACT, status in the last column will change to Sent. Either close out of Secure Systems or select Next Appropriate Inspection. This concludes our session on Inspection Review. Thank you for visiting the Public and Indian Housing Real Estate Assessment Center. If you have any questions on this topic, please email us at react underscore tac at hud.gov. Again, that is react underscore tac at hud.gov. Or contact react tac at 1-888-245-4860.